Hello, everyone. My name is Christina Tortorelli, and my colleague is Dr. Peter Choate. We are both located at Mount Royal University. You will recognize both of us in the video that you're about to watch. We would like to first thank the Health Simulation Learning Center at Mount Royal University, the Nursing Program at Mount Royal University, the Social Work Program at Mount Royal University, and Alberta Health Services for their contributions to the film that you're about to see. This film was developed for a social work course um, in mental health and addiction within the social work program at the university. It portrays a uh, daughter bringing her elderly father into a hospital setting and um, initially triaged and then put in a bed uh, within the emergency department. It is intended for an assignment for students where they will become the social worker when the video uh, film completes and they will be asked to develop a case plan and find resources for the family. We hope you enjoy watching. Somebody help me, I need help, help. Come on over here, come and have a seat. My okay. name's Lisa, I'm a registered nurse. How can I help you? My dad, he needs help. Oh, I see you've got quite a gash on your head. Well, it's nothing serious. Yes, it is serious. No. Can you tell me your name? Willie. Willie? What's Willie. your full name, Willie? Uh, Willie Edwards. Can you say that again? Willie Edwards. William, William Edwards. William Edwards, okay. Willie Edwards. Yes. Yes. This All is right. my daughter. And this is your daughter. What yeah. is your name? Elizabeth. 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 I, yeah. Okay. I don't know why we had you. Mr. Edwards, how what? would you like me to call you? Willie. Everybody calls me Willie. Willie. Yeah. Willie, what is your date of birth? Uh, September 1, 1959. I'm going to ask you a few more questions and then I think we should get you back into another room. Why? I, I, that's quite a gash on your head, and we need I, to put some why, gauze why, why, on. I don't, why are we Dad, even, why are we you need here? to listen to the nurse and be cooperative. So, I'm Willie, I'm going to just why, ask you a few more questions. Here? How did that happen? I tripped on the carpet. Okay. And I was, and then, so I just was lying on the floor, that's all. Okay, and yeah. how long would you say he was lying on the floor? I don't know. What does what that matter? I was lying on the floor. I tripped on a car. I think all day. I've been trying to get a hold okay. of him all day. I've been calling. He's not answering. Oh. I got home from work. Oh, I made supper, checked the kids, me. and then I went in over just to check on him, and I found him. Yeah, she's always Stumbling around the house, okay. drunk. Oh, well, well, I'm not drunk. I, just, I, I have some vodka to help me get through the day, for God's sake. You know? Willie? What? I would like to move us to Why? a different room where I can put some gauze on that Why? laceration and take some vital signs and make you more comfortable. I'm alive, I'm despite her. Elizabeth, why don't you yes. come down the hall with me and we'll okay. move to a different room where you okay. can be more comfortable. Okay, thank you. She's not coming, is she? Oh, God. Okay, now, Willie, mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this off your finger. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take this off your arm. And what you need to do now is just rest. My the doctor will be in shortly to see my you. My head hurts. Oh, it's okay, Dad. Yeah. I know your head hurts. I'm going to give you this warm blanket so that you can rest better. Maybe have a sleep. The social worker will be in later as well. Why do I need a social worker? If you feel like you're going to be sick to your stomach, I have a, a basin here for Why you. Why do I need a social worker for they're going to help us, Dad. They're here what, to what help are you us. To do? Nothing. No. It's okay. Willie, oh, if you I need, need a me. Drink. Willie, if you need me, the call bell is here. I need a drink. Elizabeth, if you need the call bell, I'll put it over on that side for you. Thank you. And if you could put that side rail up too, please. Okay. Mm. You got okay, something Dad. for my head? My head's killing me. They gave you something. It'll just take a little bit for it to kick in. Okay, Willie, we'll be back shortly. All right. Mm. It's okay, Dad. Hi, Lisa. 
Yes. I'm Chris. I was, I'm from Social Work. I was Hi, Chris. paged. Okay. You have a yes. patient that... We do. Okay. Um, uh, Willie Edwards was admitted yesterday. Okay. And initially he was very combative and uh, refused treatment. He had slurred speech and an unstable gait. So we were concerned about a skull fracture and an intracranial bleed, but he had a CT scan and that was normal. Okay, good. And his neurological assessment has improved since he's been admitted. He had an ECG, which was normal, but the chest x-ray shows some consolidation on his left upper lobe. And the report- So what's that about? I, I think he may show some evidence of, some no, of pneumonia. Okay. Uh, the report on his blood alcohol level is pending. And uh, Mr. Edwards has been admitted for alcohol intoxication in the past. Okay. Do you and, know how many times? Um, several times. Okay. It's been noted in the history. Okay. His daughter is with him today and she is very concerned and she's frustrated. Um, Willie is stable, but the physician really wants to have a plan before he's discharged. Sure. All right. When you're ready, um, if we can go over together and you can introduce me and then I can take it from there. Sure, let's go now. Hello, Willie. The mm. social worker is here to see you now. Hi, I'm Chris. Do you prefer Willie? Yeah, everybody calls yeah. me Willie. Yeah, okay, nice to meet you. Mm. And you are? I'm the daughter, Elizabeth Susan, but okay. you can just call me Elizabeth. Perfect, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the desk now, but you can use your call bell and push this button if you need me. Okay. And you could use it as okay. well. Okay, thank you. You're going to take her with you? Dad, knock it off. Oh. So I'm Chris. I'm a social worker here at the hospital. And my I, job is to help families plan for leaving. I'm going home, I know. Dad, let's listen. Oh. What? So you live in your own home, I yes. understand? Yeah. Same place, same place she was born 40 years ago. Wow, OK, that's yeah. a long time. And you live there by yourself? Yep. I used to live there with my wife. She Mom's died. Gone a few years now. Uh, three years, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So lots of memories, lots of time in that home, and you want to go back there, and I understand that. Where I that. live. Okay. How can he go back though? He can't take care of himself. Oh, for God's sake! Are we going down that pathway Dad, again? Dad, what happened to your head just now? I fell on the carpet. I know you fell on the carpets. Yes. Well. So move. I'm afraid for him. He's not safe at home anymore. I don't know what to do. What do you mean I'm not safe at home anymore? It's, throw the carpet out, fine, and then I won't trip it's on. It's your drinking. Oh God! Now we're going to go on my drinking, are yes, we? Yes, that's the problem here. Oh, why? This is not a problem. I hear your daughter is very worried about you. I'm very oh. worried. I'm tired, and I've had yeah. enough of this, oh, and I don't she, know uh, how else to help him. Yeah. Well. Uh, do, uh, do we have to do this again? Dad, just, well, you know, well, it's like every time I have a little bit of a gash or something, you're a on, little bit of a gash. Uh, you're on about it. You you're know? covered in blood. Oh, it was just a little bit of blood. What are you a little talking bit in my about? Foot. Oh. So the physician that came to see you was really quite worried about you going home without a plan uh, for some. <sighs> help with your your drinking well, with safety the lady next door uh, what's her name Mar margaret oh never our neighbor margaret she she gets somebody delivers food to her house <sighs> and then you you need more help than just someone delivering your food you're not eating properly you're not cooking properly the house isn't getting cleaned and i can't do it anymore i'm tired oh, of it i have I, my I'll... own life to work with oh yeah you and that the kid Oh, that loser you call Stop your husband. It. Oh, you. So yeah. it sounds he, like he won't even come over and he talk to do you. Do you anymore. blame him? Yes, you know, and and now and, all you and do now, is harp, and you're drinking all the time. It's getting worse and worse. Well, you know, I'm, he can't talk to you. Why would he want to come over? He's just he's wiped his hands of it. Oh, he's yeah, had yeah, enough, yeah, and yeah, I've yeah, had yeah, enough. I, uh, so the, well, if you've had enough, then you, you get out of here, then. Willie. What? The doctor that came to see you wants us to make a plan. He's not ready to have you leave the hospital until we can come up with a plan. I got a plan. We'll go home and you can get these meal people to come by and then she... We need more of a plan. Dad, we need help. So just listen. So Meals on Wheels is a place to start. Yeah, for sure. see, that's it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's a place to start. Yeah. What else has he tried? Where has he been? Oh, God. We've done rehab centers and oh, you hospital took, yeah, missions. Took me to the, what is that, all that, sorts of places. Oh, she, it it took just, me that, that Renfrew place one time. Oh, that was horrible. Bunch of, oh, it was disgusting. 
Did you go anywhere from Renfrew? Did oh, you go to that, something else? There was not a place in Clara's home after that. And it oh, didn't yeah. help. Oh, it, well, of course not. It, it works help. for a little while, I and then he just comes it, home. The place is full of drunks. Well, well what do you think you are? I'm not well, I'm not a drunk. I'm not some... Oh, yeah, really? Really? really I, you oh, know. gosh. Yeah. Damn. And then there was that other place. That, oh, remember the place where the food was just disgusting? Uh, sun something or other. Uh, I don't, I don't remember the name uh, either. Sun something. I there must be a was. chart. He has a yeah. lot of information in his old charts. Maybe some of that is there. There is information. I, I more wanted to hear if anything had worked for him. Oh, well, look at look where all, we are now. All, uh, what works for me is being in my home. So then we need to build supports around you in your home in order that your daughter doesn't have to worry about you. But it's going to turn around where I have to do everything again for uh. him. The cooking, the cleaning, making sure he's all right. No one's going to come sit there and babysit him all day, are they? Well, there are some resources that we could put in place. I, I'd be certainly you know what interested she really in wants? looking at she, them. She really wants, she wants to, to get me out of the home so she can sell Dad, the home. Dad, that's not true. Ah, it's what you No, yeah, it's, it's what not. That's what I just want you to be that's safe what lo and happy. Your loser husband, he wants the money from the house. That's what he wants. That's not true. Oh, sure it is. It's all he wants from me. So, Willie, you've been <laughs> to this hospital a lot. Yes. Right? So? Well, there's a story on your hospital file that makes everyone more and more worried. And this time with the head injury, and it, it's fairly big, and people oh, are concerned about that. Oh, I gashed my head, so what? Dad, just listen. Fine. So there's a couple of options, and, and one of them is probably not what you want, which is to not go home and go somewhere else. Why would I? I'm perfectly fine in my home. No, you're not, Dad. We need help. Look, I tripped on a carpet. <gasps> Throw the what if I out. wouldn't have come over today and, and found I you? I slept through it and I'd have been Why? Because fine. you've done that before? Oh, gee. So, I'm, what I hear is that you really, your plan is to go home. And, it, and yes. our plan here is to make sure that that's safe for you and Why for your isn't daughter. It? Why isn't it safe? Well, you're here and you have a big head injury. I, I don't have a big, I fell and I cut my head, so what? Sheesh, why is everybody making such a big deal out of this, for God? It is a big deal, oh. Dad. So uh, where mm. we're at right now is, you know, the doctor's not ready to let you go oh, home until no. we have a plan. So my next step, if you're willing, would be to go away and find some do of I those have resources. A, do I have a choice? No, you always have a choice. All but right. That, leaving without that plan wouldn't be a good choice. Am I going to get help too, so I can help him oh, with all God, of this? Oh God, she needs help. Yes, we can oh, absolutely look at help for you. Yeah. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm at my wit's end. Yeah. Well, you look after those kids of yours, and then I do something with losers. Those kids love you, by the way, Dad. Well, they're. I don't know. And maybe if you didn't drink so much, they'd come visit you. I uh, yeah, right. The well, loser won't let them come over anyways. Will do he? you blame him? <sighs> So, so what is it you're supposed to do? So Willie, I need to go away and bring back some ideas uh, and options of what might help you and your daughter. If, if that's okay, I would go away and come back in about an hour and, and I might suggest, um, Elizabeth, that you take a bit of a break. Let your dad rest, go get a coffee. Yeah, Just get us a coffee. Take, take a little will. bit of time for yeah. yourself. Coffee. So it's okay to leave him alone then? It should be, you can call the nurse and, and just double check been a long day and it's mm -hmm. getting late and I'm tired. Dad, do you want something to eat? Yeah, how about a donut? Well, I don't know if I can find a donut, but do you want a sandwich, something good to eat? What's wrong with a donut? I'll see what I can find. Well, right. I'll leave you now and I'll be back. So, yeah, fine. Where's it's that okay. nurse? Nurse! Right. I'll call the nurse to make sure she I... knows I'm going to leave you, nurse! all right? Nurse! Take care. All right. And put some Baileys in the coffee. Knock it off, Dad. Oh, jeez. Ah. Look, we're in the hospital. You can't have that stuff in the Why hospital. Why can't I have that stuff in the because hospital? Why? Who because. Why? Because medications. Can't have that? I'm going to get coffee. Fine, go get coffee. Thank you. I will. All right. Thank you very much for watching. It's possible in the film that you were triggered. And if you were, please ensure that you get the support that you need. One of the things we would really like you to take from this film is the importance of interdisciplinary work. You saw us working with nursing and other health professionals. This is something that we do in social work a great deal of the time.
collaborative practice is essential for us to be successful in achieving good outcomes with our clients. In this particular case, you saw a family who's had a long-standing problem and they need the support of both nursing and social work to be able to come to grips with the issues that were before them. In this film, what we've done is present social work students with a problem. And the problem is to figure out what comes next for Willie Edwards and his daughter. And there may not be a perfect solution, but this is a real opportunity to engage in the kind of creative thinking where how a family might achieve change is as important as what change is achieved. Thank you.